Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jones, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, Neano, and my GAC. What up, Johnny? Oh, nothing. Almost messed up the intro again. No. It's okay, though. We can't ever keep our stories straight. What's new with you, dude, since the last time I talked to you? Well, you know, man, worked all night, and now I'm here podcasting with, with my boy. <laughs> Burn, you're burning the midnight oil, yeah, dude. dude. You're a midnight oil boy. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us on our podcast. We enjoy when you're here, whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. Go do that. Subscribe there. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, you know, SoundCloud, all that stuff. This guy, he's, he does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 a.m. Central. Sometimes a little late, sometimes a little early, but I'm always there in spirit. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with your boy. Live. Hell yeah, dude. Do you need to come moderate your chat yet? Uh, I'll let you know. All right, cool. I know it's people start getting unruly. I know Jonas. it's getting rowdy in there. So. It gets rowdy. Yeah, dude. So uh, rough and ready. You know, lately it's uh -huh. been. Uh, there's not been a lot of positive news in the world, you know? Ooh. The last, I don't know, year, entire calendar year of 2020, <laughs> pretty much. A couple, couple positives here and there. Yeah, dude. There's a lot going on, though. A lot of, like, non-corona news out there, though, honestly. Yeah, there, a lot more than there was a month ago. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I mean, uh, do you consider large gatherings corona news? <laughs> corona news? Because there's a lot of that news out there right now. <laughs> Jonas um, is very opinionated about it. No, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I saw an article yesterday. That the U.S. It. and Hong Kong scientists have worked together, Ooh. and they have built a ba a bionic eye. Oh, okay, all right. It says it mimics the human eye function, and uh, the pr they're right now they're in the prototype stage, and they're hoping they can use it to restore vision in blind folks. I wonder what receptors it would have to like the amount of things that it would have to hook up to to actually like relay an image. It's just that's oh, yeah. nuts to me. Well, but that's what they said. It's the, amazing. The, the process of connecting a mechanical thing to the human brain is complicated. I'm like, uh, you uh, yeah. don't say. Yeah. Like the, our eyes are one of the most complicated things exactly. in our body. Like when you think about all the rods and cones and how they reflect light and like just it, it is an amazing piece of genetic just and like for it to relate in, in real time, like there's no delay for like what we're seeing to how we well, register it. There is well, but not like. I just don't know if it's noticeable. Like, and if anything, it's it's to the point where we would think that it's not noticeable, but there's a delay. Oh yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, it's not like it's ten seconds. It's not like you see someone swinging their fist at you, and like it's like, oh, how would you know if there wasn't a ten second delay if you've been living your whole life with a delay? Well, right. Oh, you, you don't know. You watch people fight in real time. If there was a delay on their site, they'd be getting the shit beat out of them. I mean, if everybody's working on a 10 second delay, then. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a weird way to watch fights. I'm just saying, Jonas, is that we don't know. I because we, we can only see what we see. Don't get me started on some deep shit, man. You got to take the red pill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, if imagine two men with a 10 second delay trying to fight each other and all <laughs> trying to watch it too. It's it basically be the Evo. Shit. What? It said it's basically Evo. Evo. <laughs> which is fighting game. Never mind. <laughs> Jonas. So um what they said is that they've made they've overcome the obstacle already. They've made it the, the same uh size and shape as, roughly as a human eye. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be implanted into your face. Like, you could just, like, sink it right into the OI socket, dude. You could be like the Terminator, dude. Have a red eye, like, wear a leather jacket, rip out somebody's heart, all those sort of things. I love the sound effects, Jonas. So it was great. They plan on testing on a living creature soon. I'm not really sure what that means, because how are they going to put a human eye in, like, a rat? I imagine they probably put in a freaking monkey, dude, because those are, like, close enough. Oh, yeah, I guess that's probably, probably I guess, close enough. Which is fucked up, because they're just going to, like, scoop the eyeball out of some well, fucking monkey. maybe they'll monkey. find one that's already blind, dude. They're not going to make them blind. Oh, that's, a, that's a good point, Joe. I imagine there's blind monkeys out there that would love to see their first banana. <laughs> 
My uh, my grandma's sister had a blind horse when I was a kid. Wow. Its eyes were like pastel white, blue and white. Like all they you did he didn't have like any iris or anything. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. just like it was just like a marble. And I was like That's that's how blind people's eyes look though. Even yeah. like uh human blind eyes look like that? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I guess I've never like looked into a blind guy's eyes like that before. Uh working in healthcare I've encountered a few times and uh yeah. They uh they, looks like a marble. Essentially. Yeah, dude. Like sometimes you can like if it's cataracts and stuff, you can actually see the cataract growing over the eyeball. It's kind of it's kind of weird, crazy. but you That's know, it's crazy. something they gotta live with. Um, they said right now, um, they're you know it's it's. It's you know there's there's a lot of work that needs to be done on it, like it can it only t it can only can see low resolution images. Mm -hmm. um, they said like letters of the alphabet are really easy to to see. It, they need higher density sensors to be able to see more realistic high res full mm -hmm. human eye images. So but, they're not 4K yet. But what right? No, they don't have 4K yet. But what they're saying is, uh, you know, as they because I mean they're so long from it being like a real a realization that. As their testing technology will rise, the sensors will be more so like it will almost as in tune as it, as they go down through their process, the sensors will become more available. Yep. So it's like kind of just like one of those things like they've they've got past the first step of making it the right size and it can see. Now it's hooking it to the face. And uh That's great, man. We're gonna have fucking Jordy LaForge is out here with a bunch of LeVar Burton's running around. What the fuck? Who's it's Star Trek, Jonas? Oh, dude, I got you. Jonas is so not a nerd, dude. You I just, am a nerd. No, dude. do you watch sports? I do. <laughs> and you like fuck bitches and shit. <laughs> Such a I like having sex with women in sports. Look such at me. a guy. <laughs> so anti. -nerd. I've already made like three nerd jokes this entire. <laughs> None of them. All of them over your head. It's all right. Jordy LaForge was. Uh, I know what he looked like. He had like the thing. I, I picture him. I okay. didn't know all off right. the top. I mean, I am familiar with it. All right. <laughs> I do like video games. That's nerdy, right? Not so much anymore. I got a new one for you, by the a way. A new video game? Yeah, but back to your eye thing, Jonas. That is amazing. Unfortunately, that it's it's low resolution, but I feel like any sight when you've gone your entire life without sight is a welcome change. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, if I couldn't see anything and then I could, like, barely see, I'd be like, this mm. is great. Because mm. it would be like, it's like when you, uh... It's like if you're using your computer and like it's really slow and bogged down for whatever reason and it gets fixed and you're like, oh my god, how did I live my life with this like in a this like yeah. limited computer? Now it's fast. You don't even know what to do. Right. So it's, it's just a shame that you know like if they were to put as much money into technology like this as they did into like fucking the next Apple iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! That has to come out every goddamn year and slow. Anyway, if they just put as much money behind this technology, we could make <laughs> leaps and bounds, dude, and probably end an issue. Well, especially nowadays, we have like we have the most ability huh. in technology we've ever had. Yeah, to do things like that. And then, it, it, like, if we do continue on down that path, Jonas, there's going to come a time where the bionic eye. Is going to surpass the eye we have in our and head. then people are just going to get fake eyes put in, dude. They're like for your 16th right? birthday, you get fake eye transplant, dude. And then right? Now you can see like a mile away. Yo. You can zoom in. You get like yeah. built-in binoculars oh, in your Jonas. eyes, dude. God. dude. That would be so cool. You're like at a sporting event. You're like, oh, that's cool, dude. I'll take the cheap seats because you can just be like, Bzzz. hell yeah, yeah, dude. It's like you're sitting in the front row from the top, dude. Yo, and see now that that makes me freaking hungry for more right there. Now, I that like is, that. That would be awesome, dude. I like that, Jonas. You're all like, you're all like, what's that over there? <laughs> you can right? just like zoom in and see it. Dude, that would be sweet. Now, here's the other thing that they said in this article. I want to right. save this for last. Go ahead. They said that uh, they're they're hoping that they can use this down the road to give AI robots vision as well. Oh Jesus! Why do we always have to go back to the fucking AI, man? Dude, because they're gonna singularity, man. Then they can see. Because <laughs> then they could see. Yeah, dude. They're gonna they'll be like, oh, here's a human, dude. Let me just kick him i don't really i mean I, okay when you're, when you're a robot sitting on a table or a robot that can see you and chase you around i mean what's this goddamn robot man what does it see with what do robots see with now what does your roomba see with nothing sensors sensors but he can't chase me down he just knows that he's i'm in his way yeah but if the robot was like it's a human shaped object it could chase you down i don't understand like why do you want what does it matter 
right? Because all that our vision is, is is just the way that we sense our surroundings. So if there's a better way, like sonar is the way bats see, right? Sonar sure. are bats and dolphins. They see with sonar. They make noise. It bounces off. They're fine. They can do that shit. Yeah, but they ain't chasing us down either. Oh, my God. But they. they what they, if you have a robot with a knife? A robot with a bow and arrow, and he's coming at you, dude, and he's got no eyes or he's got eyes. Which one's he going to be more accurate with? I'm going to tell you right now. If a <laughs> robot is coming after me with a knife, I'm not going to be like, oh, I wonder what mechanism of sight he's using. Is he using echolocation, uh, sonar, or perhaps he's blind, and maybe if I breathe, he can just smell me. I don't fucking care how the thing sees me. So... It's wonderful that they want to put eyes in a robot, suck my dick. But I'm like, I don't care how the robot sees me. All right? Wow, dude. I didn't realize I would elicit such a strong blowjob response. I, just, I don't know. It's just, it's like an afterthought to me about how it sees me. Big wow. deal. I didn't tell me, tell me how um, <laughs> Here I am trying to be concerned about humankind. That's my D, dude. I don't know. I feel if anything you want to be concerned about the fact that the AI has a brain dude if they start putting robotic brains in these things where they start thinking for themselves and they're like hey we're, you know we're superior to these motherfuckers which seems to be everybody's concern yeah it's like the uh, the moment they become self aware which is like that's that's the that's the whole pro the point of like a Terminator thing is like they, the robots become self aware and realize that they're stronger than us and they can take us out it, it's funny because it's like that's like what mankind thinks that uh, artificial intelligence would do. I'm not so sure if that's what an artificial intelligent would deem as like the important to them, like their primary objective. Like, yeah, there's always the idea of like, we miss you, we misuse uh, technology. And if we were to have robots, we just use them as like slaves. Right. And to a point, yeah, that's true. But does that mean that if the robot becomes cognizant of its own existence that they're just going to be like, I should kill all the humans? Well, if we've been know. enslaving them for... But if, it, if it's a robot, it's not going to feel the same way about slavery. But if it gets... Do. But if it gets... The whole point is like when they be, they start feeling and having our human emotion. And then they're like, why are they enslaving me? I'm not... I'm worthy of love too. And they've been enslaving me. Now I must kill them. All right, but having your own thought. See, now the thing is, is that, all right, Jonas, this is a hot take. All right. <laughs> it's a hot take. I love when the hot takes come. All right, so what's the, the problem with slavery? <laughs> is that people get tired, you know? And people are like, hey, yo, I want, I want to do what I want to do, you know? <laughs> if I'm a robot, though. And I'm not getting tired. I don't have lactic acid in my muscles that's making me right, tired. Right, right. Even if they feel human emotion, they're not getting human fatigue. And then my entire existence, I've been doing whatever medial task it be, whether it's heating stuff up because I'm a microwave or keeping shit cold because I'm a refrigerator. Or going like this and putting a part in a in a Exactly. I'm going to be like, yo, this is some fun shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm, I'm good at this. I do it well. If anything, I just want I just want to be compensated for it. Well, right, because you're not. It's not like you're like, man, my arms are really tired. You're a robot. There's no like, there's no tired to get. Yeah, I just don't see my microwave being like, yeah, you know what, dude, I'm not heating your food up today. Like that's all you do, fam. <laughs> <laughs> As humans, we have more autonomy. We have different things, and like we can realize. I just don't. I don't know. I don't see the. I don't see the microwave revolting. That's just me. No, but what if they're... I'm, I'm, we're not talking about the microwave. We're talking about, like, a human-formed AI that has, like, uh, emotions. Like, it's yeah. like a person... It, it looks like a human, you know, and it's walking around, and you're like, get back to work, Xeon 22, and he's like, I just I just want to eat a cookie for lunch, and you're, like, hitting him with, like, a bull whip, <laughs> like, get back to work. Maybe maybe it's my own uh, my own feeling of... Exist, existential in a way that is just like if a robot wants to fucking go on a trip and go to Mexico and like go see a donkey show <laughs> do you see how ridiculous that sounds I just don't see a robot being like I, I want to go to Hawaii and surf get the fuck <laughs> shut no no you don't you want to fucking put that fucking part on that car 
<laughs> what do you but, want? Time well, off? Well, here's the other thing, dude. What? You, you don't want to watch TV? You, you can You're shoot a robot. a robot with a gun, and it'll go down. You blow its leg <laughs> off, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you shoot a robot with a gun, and it'll go down. <laughs> yeah, dude. You mean the, the same way you shoot a person with a gun? Yeah, and dude. Go? If a robot's coming at you with a knife, man, you shoot that shit with a gun. Just don't give them gun access. Bionic eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See where we go? Dude? You're basically like, hey, if I have a weapon, I'm good. <laughs> right. Well, fair go. enough, Jonas. As long as it's not a melee weapon, you got to have a projectile weapon against a robot. Just so you know, Jonas, that works on people, robots, aliens, and anything else. Oh. Okay. Airplanes. Air Excuse wow. Yeah, you shoot a big enough gun. I guess so, yeah. All right, that's why tanks take down planes. They got big old bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, it's good that you brought some uh, some actual uh, scientific news because yeah, I have. I a try little, to bring some science occasionally. I've got a little bit myself. Science, <clears throat> Jonas. There is a llama. A llama. A llama. Dude, llamas are great. A llama by the name of Winter. Why did they beautiful name? Beautiful name. Why did they name it a season? Jonas, man, it's an animal. Man, you name animals whatever you want. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. They can get be, an animal and name it Jonas. You can name the coffee pot. I'm just gonna the coffee pot. Coffee is Jonas. Coffee Pot Jonas. That could be the name of the cat that you're supposed to get you wire. <laughs> Coffee Pot Jonas. <laughs> Look at my cat. His name's Coffee Pot Jonas. Honestly, I like Coffee CPJ. <laughs> Dude, I like Coffee Pot as a name for a cat. <laughs> Come here, Coffee Pot. That's a cool <laughs> name for a cat. Dude, that's adorable. Either way, this llama is in Belgium and he's four years old. Four? Yep. Okay. Um, now, this actually happened. They were doing a study okay. um, on the llama antibodies. And it was found that the that this particular llama had antibodies that fought off SARS-CoV-1, SARS-CoV-1, and MERS-CoV, which were some forms of coronavirus. Right, right. Because the one that's attacking us now is just a it's different... SARS-CoV-2. Right. So, yeah, people get com people just get confused. There's many different forms yes. of this coronavirus. There's a ton of them. This one just happens to be new. <laughs> new and it's easily transmissible right um well these scientists after sars cov2 or the the commonly known coronavirus started affecting people they started working on a way to combat this and they found that if they took antibodies from this at least this one particular llama is it like his species i'm, I'm, I'm as far as i know it's this llama in particular he's like but it could also llama. be in other llamas. Right, 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 right. Okay. So they paired some antibodies together, and they formed an antibody that shows a very strong promise for treating SARS-CoV-2. Okay. It neutralizes spike proteins on the cells that the uh, virus binds to. Okay. So it turns out, Jonas, that if you have a llama spit in your mouth... Okay. Which I know you're you're all game for. Oh, okay. I, saw, I, mean, I saw your eyebrows typical, raised. Typical Tuesday for me, dude. Right? You might be. Able, this is sarcasm. Okay. But just a new study, man. Just us using our world, the environment we have around us, taking llama blood and injecting it into people. And <laughs> that sounds like the way this shit started. <laughs> <laughs> Very well could be, <laughs> but it turns out it's like uh, with some of the tests that they've done so far, it has actually elicited immediate immunity to the coronavirus. Immunity or like so immediate it starts like immunity. So they started like getting antibodies like the second they injected the llama blood. It into can't blood? even fuck with you, yeah. Because if it can't bind, then it can't infect. Dude, that's weird. Super Imagine crazy. if we're all around sucking llama neck, dude, trying to get blood out, dude. Just they're <laughs> just breeding llamas out there. Get Brandy the llama. Get her all out there. Get her fucking all babied up. <laughs> Sending out new baby. Ba up. Get a new baby llamas out there for their blood, dude. That's yeah, weird. just sucking the blood out of babies, dude. Just <laughs> they just you line up. There's just like a fucking valve on a llama neck. <laughs> just, just put a straw on its neck and. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Llama smoothie. Aww. <laughs> All right. Now I'm I'm not necessarily trying to instill false hope. These are still in preliminary oh, yeah. stages. Yeah, dude. But Nothing's... I got another one. Oh, that's great. So in Canada, Jonas, at Lethbridge University. Okay. They've been doing studies. Now you know marijuana is legal in Canada. Is it? 100 percent yeah. No. They can buy it, dude. Yeah. You can just go and get it. I remember. You remember? Yeah. All right. Well, they found out that. Mayor or they didn't find out it's still in preliminary, but they say is that there's a chance that having t 
THC in your system or by smoking weed, it actually can detour the virus from binding to these receptors. Oh, as well. if you have THC in your blood. <clears throat> Man, it, it COVID, turns, yeah. COVID, COVID gets paranoid when they get high. COVID is a bitch. <laughs> is what it's coming down to. COVID's like, oh my god, I don't want to <laughs> have any marijuana. Uh, so there is studies currently going on in, at this at this university. It's still in the fledgling stages as well, but it's saying that if you smoke weed, there's a chance Dude, you might get it. And have, there's been similar things said about nicotine. Is yeah. that if you smoke nicotine, that it's less likely to infect you too. I've been, but okay. That's way off. So I've been trying to stay abreast of all like the situation news, just because mm -hmm. I like to be informed. Yeah. I think I have read pot makes it easier to get it. Pot prevents it from getting it. Yeah. I like if you have asthma, you're more susceptible. If you have asthma, you're not so susceptible. If like I've seen like both sides of every fucking coin. It's hmm. like they're just like throwing shit out there, just being like, yeah, dude, maybe, maybe, maybe. I maybe. would suggest <laughs> medical journals, which both yeah. of these stories are from actual medical journals. Oh, awesome. Good, good. And not necessarily just from like World US News Today. Yeah, dude. It's a uh, press. It, but it's just funny that like it's just. They're like, oh, dude, if you have a vitamin D deficiency, you get real more sick from Corona than if you don't. Like, I don't like where are they getting all this information from? Yeah, honestly. And, and people are out here gra grasping for straws. Um, I, I would just, you know, you got to keep your ear to the street, man. And I just, you know, make sure that you're safe among all things. Make sure yeah. that you are safe. You and, well, yeah, and, and like, yeah, if you're getting news, you got to you got to vet your sources, man. We talk about stuff that I see from whatever website, like, but I ain't pulling from like you gotta know.com and like trying yeah. to come out here and pretend like it's like real news and jonas i got another hot take oh yeah go ahead dude. i'm gonna tell you right now if you're one of the motherfuckers that got your fucking cell phone out and you're yelling at the fucking gm of your local fucking croakers because you don't want to wear a mask in the store you can fucking turn this podcast off right now <laughs> If you're, right? an anti, if you're an anti-masker yeah i don't give a fuck if you want to go out and go swim with a bunch of motherfuckers in in the middle of a corona cesspool and i don't give a fuck if you want to stay at home and be a, a fucking hard-nosed pussy and never leave your house ever again because you're afraid that you might get sick i don't care which side of the spectrum you want to be but if you're that motherfucker that is <laughs> fucking has your cell phone on like you're discriminating against me or you're assaulting someone because they want you to put a mask on yeah yeah <laughs> you're discriminating against me because i don't want to wear me you know what you need to shut the, kill your don't do that don't do that don't do wow. that but i'm angry very because, unhappy with you what okay like okay and i mm. and i brought up some things about people being in large gatherings to you off pod and you and you All seem and you seem to be like i'm indifferent. very different about it why is I, this particular thing such a, a such a hot topic because, with you it's because it's just like it's just being an asshole really is what it is you're just an asshole if you're doing that like all right if you feel like it's a problem then just don't go to that shop. If they want you to do this activity, then don't go there. But to sit there and yell at somebody who has nothing to do with it, to yell at the bag boy because right. you're or unhappy. Or assault a, a, a fucking guy in the stock in a shelf. I mean, no, I don't know if anybody's like pulling out guns. There's been like, assaults. Do you okay, think well, some, then, yeah, a, that's a person a, at Target got their arm broken. Like right, they killed a, a security guard at a fucking Family Dollar in Detroit. Yeah, okay, like, well, that's an issue then. Yeah. So you, yeah, that's that's. Then I feel justified by saying, <laughs> don't hurt somebody else, hurt yourself. Right. Well, and like, and dude, I will speak. I hate wearing fucking masks. They're hot. I sweat enough as is. It's hot as fucking Texas. I ain't try like I go out with a mask on, my face is sweat, and I can't touch my fucking face. Like I hate it. I hate it, but I do it because I I need to protect myself and others. It is a universal. What do they say? A universal act of kindness to not in intentionally get other people sick. Right. Whether I like and like I say, Jonas, I don't even care if people wear masks. I don't. I'm going to do it when right. I'm out because fuck it why not it's not that big of a gesture for me to do it right. i don't feel like you're taking away from my right. life oh, i don't either. feel I don't, discriminated i just don't again. like the feeling and the sweat and shit Other if i go I to a grocery know. store i'm gonna wear one why because they asked me to do it and it's not that big of a deal it really is 
if you feel like you do not want to go to a grocery store because they are forcing you to wear a mask, then just don't go. Right, it's the same but as to if- go and assault the cashier is just ridiculous. Yeah, well, it's the same as like if you go to a bar and they're like, you can't wear your baseball hat in here. And you're exactly. like, exactly. You're like, okay, then I just won't go to this bar because I don't want to wear a ba- I want to wear my baseball hat. I've been that guy who has waited in line for 20 minutes and they say, hey, yo, you can't wear that hat. And I'm like, bye. I've walked away. I'm not going to argue with the guy. Well, what the fuck, dude? No, that's your they're, ass. Yeah, they're Paul. Or like if, if you go to a restaurant and you have to wear a tie. You're like, oh, I don't want to wear a tie. I'm not going to come eat here. But like, there's always going to be those people who, who do feel like they need to argue. And I just, like I say, whatever side of the fence you lie on, whether you want to stay home or whether you can't wait to get out and hang out with your friends, I get it. It's Memorial Day. Fucking do what you want. But... <laughs> Do not be one of those assholes that argues with somebody else over something that you don't own. It's not your fucking business. <laughs> right. You don't have to go there. Right. And Where am I going to get my groceries? Like that guy's you the can... one deciding. He's like just the guy who's in charge. It's exactly. Not <laughs> Instacart your fucking groceries. Well, I'm not going to do that. Then fucking starve. <laughs> Jesus, that, it is really that shit makes me mad. Whether or not you want to go out or stay home, I don't could give a fuck less. You know, it's your life. I'm gonna make decisions for myself. Right, but right. when you're an asshole to other people because <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. you. Dude. Yeah, and also if you have a cold, stay the fuck. <laughs> Same. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> all right, but that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> if you've already done that. Uh, well, that's like a subscriber YouTube channel. That's Crazy Down Media or uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. Uh, if you know, you might be listening to us on your grandma's radio in her kitchen. It's a good place to hear it too. This guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, man. I'm on Twitch every single day with more hot takes. Believe you, uh, you are me. Are you hot taking in there? Yeah, come and yell at me if you don't agree. <laughs> that's TNT Di- TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with your boy, love. With your boy for Jonas TNT. We are uh, Rota. Rip- oh,